What's going on? The Ape Coach from Six Pack Gaming, where we bring you the best play to earn NFT games and new metaverse projects. Now, today I am back with another update here on BNB Heroes. This game has absolutely exploded and just taken off like a rocket faster than anything I've ever seen before. The all time high hit 283x its pre sale price. Okay, almost. 300 times its price in just nine days. This thing has been insane and the earnings from it are incredible as well. Now, there has been a lot of updates, a lot of little adjustments and stuff like that. So we're gonna go over all of the changes. There's a whole lot of new features coming. There's a chapter two boss. There's a special NFT that was just announced today. There's gonna be idle missions, staking for the heroes. We have so many sweet sweet things coming up plus i actually have something i'm going to show you it's a calculator that's going to show you how you could be earning an extra 72 percent bnb per day in this game or up to 1800 dollars a month that's basically what it works out to that's what you could be throwing away by fighting the wrong enemy here so we're going to go over that i'm going to share with you you know exactly how that works how you can make the absolute most of this in the least amount of time and uh we're going to go over all the updates and everything and if that wasn't enough we are also going to be drawing the winner of the free fusemon nft from two videos ago the pegaxi video here if you watch that you commented you followed the instructions to win that free nft NFT, you are going to be entered in and we are going to be drawing the winner right here live on this video. So we've got a ton coming up. So make sure you smash that thumbs up button. Make sure you subscribe and you got those notifications turned on and let's dive right into this. All right. So here we are in BNB Heroes. You can see I've got all of the buildings fully maxed out, fully upgraded. And one thing that that gets you, well, one, it you know, it upgrades all the stats and stuff on your heroes, gives you better, you know, attack, defense, and speed, and uh, makes it, you know, quicker to level up. You get a little bit better rewards and all of that stuff. And the inn allows you to hold the full five heroes, right? But one additional thing is if you have all of your buildings maxed out to level four, you can get this special NFT that was just announced. So it is CZ himself from Binance. CZ, the Samurai King, this is a mythical NFT. Now, it has been stated that this is not going to be used for fights, okay? So it says, special NFT will be claimable soon. Upgrade all four buildings to max to get this beautiful limited NFT. This NFT is a BMBH collectible item and cannot be used for fights, okay? So a lot of people saw that and you can see here, they've got the face palm. They're like, oh, what's the point of it if it can't be used for fights? But Matt, the owner of BNB Heroes here, he teased in a comment that it can't be used for fights, but it may be used for something else. So we know that there's a lot of things coming up. And if you don't know, there's idle missions coming up. There's going to be staking of your NFTs and heroes as a way of generating passive income. And so that is what I'm thinking this guy might be used for i don't know i don't have the information right so i'm just giving you my own personal thoughts of what i think it could be used for uh, but he did hint that you know even though it can't be used for fights that doesn't mean it doesn't hold value okay so it might be worth it especially you know if you're going to be playing this for the long run i think it ends up being worth it you know leveling up all of your buildings and all this stuff and you can start earning a lot more as time progresses that is just one little thing okay so anyone who has their buildings maxed out and i'm sure if you max them out in the next little bit here before this guy comes out and is claimable um i think you'll still be able to do it after um it's released as well once you max out all the buildings but i'm not sure you might have to have done it before it's released or something like that but if you max it out you still have time um and then you'll be able to claim this guy very soon uh, the next thing we're going to go over is they're adding some other stuff here, 
right? So there's going to be a boss two here for chapter two. I don't know the name of the boss or anything like that, but it did. They did say it's going to have higher rewards and there's going to be a level limit, a level restriction, right? So you're going to have to be over level 10 in order to take on the chapter two boss. As you can see, this is my highest level hero. He's already level 23. Um, so hopefully he has no problem defeating the level 10, right? But uh, we'll see. We'll see. So I'm excited to see what that'll be, what the rewards will be. And as soon as that happens, you know, we'll make another video. We'll cover it. We'll go over it and see, you know, what is most worth it to fight and all of that good stuff. All right. Next up, we have some of these updates coming up here. OK, so there has been some changes. There's been some basically balancing of the game, some game updates, um, adjustments of, of costs and things like that slightly and rewards just to make the game more sustainable long term right and i understand everyone's reservations and everyone you know being a little timid or scared of you know any time that rewards get reduced or anything like that right people start to panic okay but it's all just for the longevity of the game like i said i would rather take a 100 bucks a day for six months rather than get a thousand dollars for two days and the game be dead okay so put the greed aside a little bit you know chill out because as you can see the rewards are healthy because we've seen this time and time again in these play to earn games especially ones that are earning as substantially as this one um people get nervous of the the, the rewards drying up and not being able to you know get their break even point and start profiting and all that sort of stuff but the rewards pool here is up to 21,360 let me refresh it and we'll see where it's at there we go it just went up another 100 bnb pretty much um this thing has been climbing the game is what 17 18 days old now somewhere around there and we're at 21,400 bnb in the rewards pool that started at 1000 on day one so it has been climbing it started climbing by about a thousand bnb per day and lately it's been actually increasing how much it's been climbing each day um so i think now it's it's going up somewhere close to like 1500 bnb per day in addition to all of the claims that are happening you can see people are claiming constantly here right 0 0.8 bnb 0 0.6 0 0.7 0 0.7 0 0.5 0 0.6 0 0.8 0 0.8 you know people are constantly constantly claiming they've paid out where was it here they announced somewhere how much they had paid out recently here we go they've already paid out almost 20,000 bnb here over 11 and a half million dollars in two weeks which is insane to think but so they've paid out almost 20,000 and the rewards pool has been growing and it's an additional 21,000 above that and it's still continuing to go up all right so that is you know something that i think is a good thing with all of these adjustments because they're being proactive okay they're not waiting for the rewards pool to start tanking or for the rewards pool to hit zero before they make adjustments to sustain the game and the economy because by then by that time it's too late right so what they are doing is being proactive they're making calculated measures and adjustments to ensure that the rewards pool is maintained and continues to grow over time that's exactly what you want to see you want to see the rewards pool continue to grow as players continue to play and earn and new players come in so that there's actually sustainability of the economy with this. So here are the updates. Um, so they reduced the base BNB rewards by 5% for all enemies, including the boss. You know, some people are freaking out about that. It's really not a big deal. Okay. It, it affected the earnings on each of the heroes by like 0 0.001, right? So right here so like 0 0.001 so instead of this being you know 1.527 it would be 1.526 okay so it's very very minimal and the profits on this are still insane okay and we're gonna go over that in just a little bit we actually have a calculator that's gonna show you how to earn the absolute most of from this in the shortest amount of time how to get the most out of this and show you where you're potentially leaving a ton of BNB and a ton of money and rewards on the table by fighting the wrong enemy. 
Okay, so I'm gonna show you who you should be fighting and why and walk you through this whole calculator that takes everything into account with this and it's just amazing. All right, so let's go through these updates and then we'll get to that and show you how you can start making some serious BNB. Okay, so they reduced the base rewards. They updated the experience table. So this was something that I felt was needing to be done eventually um, because I was leveling up so fast that I was like, I'm going to be the max level in this game in like two months because my hero here is level 23. He was just about level 24 before the adjustment. So like if that would have kept going, because initially it was just 1000 experience for each level, right? So I'm already at 24,000. Like I would have been level 24 and on my way to 25. So I would have already been a quarter way there in, you know, less than 20 days. So two and a half months and I would have been at the absolute max level and you know, that that's not super sustainable, right? Obviously, if everyone hits max level in two months, how long is that gonna, is that gonna last, right? So what they did was they made the experience scale by level. Okay, so now it's more of a typical progression that you would see in any sort of like RPG style game, you know, level, the experience required to go from level one to level two is never the same in any other game to go, you know, from level 99 to 100, right? And so they've made adjustments that make sense like that, okay? So my level 18, she needs 26,900, right? Level 17 needs 24,999. Um, whereas the 21 needs 33,000. The 23 needs 38,000. So it starts to scale up the higher level you get. So that again, that's just adding longevity. And in a sense, that's adding a lot of value to the actual levels in the heroes. Because, you know, in the past, like the levels didn't really mean a whole lot because they happened super quickly. Um, so it, you know, each level was the same amount of experience. So it wasn't really difficult to get up to these higher levels. Now that, you know, it's more of a grind these higher level characters are going to hold a lot more value because they've added an extra like this is an extra what 230 to all of these base stats um or something like that or 220 um so that's pretty substantial right so it's another it's another good addition right that's that's adding to value of the nfts which was something that people were concerned about and adding to the sustainability of the game okay Number three was to help protect people um, because there was bugs and things going on where people would level their heroes up to the experience cap when they would have to pay BMBH to, to level it up. And then they would sell it on the market so they didn't have to pay those fees. So then someone buying off the market would have to buy the hero and then instantly pay the BMBH fees to level the hero up. And sometimes it was like bugging out and you'd have to do You'd have to jump through hoops to be able to level up your hero. If that happened to you, which it happened to me a few times because um, I got a couple guys off the market. Um, if that happens to you and you haven't approved your heroes yet, all you do is you come in here to your heroes, you approve right here. You go to your buildings. If you haven't maxed them out already, go to your buildings, you approve the thing to upgrade your buildings. And then you go up to your MetaMask, you switch to Ethereum mainnet, and then you switch back to Binance Smart Chain. And I usually refresh when I do this. And then you connect again, and then you will be able to level up your hero, okay? So that is how you fix that bug if you've ran into that. Um, I know I did, and that was what solved it for me. Next up here, um, so that's, sorry, th so that's good that they, you know, disabled the ability for people to do that. Um, the next thing here is they reduce the bonus for speed buffs instead of um, dividing it by a thousand. It's now divided by 1500 in the calculation and they've increased the effect of HP saved by armor from 30 to 20. So essentially you're going to be losing a little bit more HP each fight and then you're going to be er you're not going to have as big of a bonus multiplier from your speed. Okay, so again, it's just somewhat nerfing the amount of fights and rewards you can get each day. Um, but, you know, don't worry about it. Again, it's still insanely profitable. As you can see, I this is after claiming uh, a few days ago. I think I was able to claim over 3 BNB. And then this is, you know, already another 1.5 um, 
in just a few days. So the earnings on this are substantial. This is one of the best going right now. One last update that they kind of tacked on to this uh, to again, try to help protect newer players or people buying stuff off the market. They disabled the ability to sell your heroes if you're above 30% of your current level's experience. And again, that's just to save people from, you know, if some person gets their guy to like, like if, if I did this, right? If I took this level 23 guy, I leveled him all the way up to like 38,000 experience and I didn't get the, the last 400. And then I just sold that on the, on the market so I didn't have to pay those fees and then I bought a new hero or whatever. The next person that buys that is gonna be hit with a huge BNBH fee to level up for all of this experience, right? So to protect people from that, if your hero is over 30% leveled to the next level, you can't sell it until you level it up again, okay? Um, so again, I think that's a smart move. It's, it's protecting other players. You know, if you're someone who's trying to sell your character or whatever, and it's, it's almost leveled up, you're just gonna have to suck it up and level it up one more time and then you can sell it. Okay, it's not, it's not that big of a deal. So now that we've gone over all of the updates and the new features coming out with the boss and the special NFT for maxing out the buildings and the idle missions coming up and you know, different different things that are coming, there's, there's gonna be a lot. Uh, I don't know exactly when, but I know they're coming soon. I know they're working hard on them. The big thing now is how do you make the most from this in the shortest amount of time? How do you make sure you're maximizing your profits or getting your return on investment as soon as you possibly can? There's a calculator. Okay, this thing is going to help you track your entire investment in BNB Heroes. It's gonna keep everything up to date with live prices of BNB, of BNBH. It's gonna show you how much it's going to track how much you've invested based on how many heroes you have, um, how much you've leveled up your buildings, and it's going to help you calculate your rewards and how to earn either the maximum rewards for your heroes or the maximum experience. So if you just want to grind up the levels and you know you want to do that first, there's you know different guys that you need to fight in order to do that and then in order to maximize your rewards there's different guys that you need to fight and it's all calculated here it shows you how much profit you can make per day your return on your investment or your break-even point how much profit you can earn per month all of these things okay and so this is brought to me by these mathematical games so it's a group uh they're actually a couple of engineers from Spain and they got in touch with me through discord. They, you know, let me know that they built this calculator to track, you know, the, their investments and stuff in BNB heroes and how to basically get the most rewards from it. And they started sharing it with a few people and it was helping people earn a lot more money um, and a lot quicker, right? Like I said, this thing can help you earn an extra 72% BNB more every single day if you're going for the max rewards, which personally, that's what I'm most interested in because my heroes are already leveled up quite a bit. Um, this is gonna show you how to do that and that adds up to a substantial difference in your daily and monthly profits. So these guys, mathematical games, they're built, they've built this out. They're planning on building some other calculators for other games. Um, they are from Spain, like I said, so a lot of their stuff is in Spanish and you'll see some of the things on the calculator um, maybe haven't been fully translated yet or whatever, but I'm gonna show you exactly how to use this so that you guys can kind of track your thing. They have the Discord linked here as well. I will link all of their info down below so you guys can go check them out if you want. They do have a donation address too for BNB, so if it helps you out, you know, and you want to support them, you can just send some BNB to that address and you know, that's, that's completely up to you, right? So let's dive into this. How does this work? How does this help you earn more? You know, what's the point of it? So right here, I have all of my heroes entered in now. Okay. So there's this hero number. They put together a, um, a little chart over here, a little table with all of the heroes. Okay. All the heroes. Um, their base stats and all of that, their minting price in both dollars, US dollars and um, BNBH. And so what you do is you look for whatever hero you have. So let's see, I have ba Balin Fellwood. Okay, so you look down here 
and I'm blind. There he is, number 14. So you come over here. Sorry, I can't scroll apparently. You come over here, you enter the hero number, number 14. Again, it gives you a little legend there. <clears throat> so we've got 14, it's got Valen Felwood. You enter your level, you can either select it or you can just type it in. So all the blue stuff, sorry, all the blue stuff is what you can edit. Um, so we're gonna go for max rewards here. We're gonna keep the slippage. I don't know why you disable the slippage because there's always gonna be slippage, um, but you have that option, I guess. Um, you enter in what level your buildings are. So if your building's level two, level three, it'll change you know, what sort of rewards you're getting from this. So you can see now that my buildings are all level four, it's an extra 13% in BNB rewards. Um, the health restoration time for the heroes is now one HP every 68 seconds instead of 86 for level one, right? So that cuts down the recovery time of HP. So you're able to get in fights a lot quicker once you've maxed these out. Um, this improves the amount of experience you earn per fight by 90 extra experience and then the attack speed and armor are boosted by an extra 140 stat points um, for all of my heroes okay so here it enters in all of the stats um, and it accounts for your health and all of your stats when it calculates how much you can earn okay and then here is another thing of basically how they calculate the upgrades and just the um, the amounts that it kind of calls in that calculator and that summary and then here is the big thing. So these are the battles. This is all the base data. So this is how much experience you lose every time you do a fight, 200 regardless, and then the boss is 400. This is how much experience you gain, the base, right? These are the base probabilities, your base earnings in BNB per fight, and your base earnings in dollars per fight, okay? And then what it does is it takes into consideration your specific heroes that you've entered, all of their stats, and it calculates based on your success rate, your win percentage, the um, base rewards for fighting that enemy, the multipliers that you get on your rewards, all of these things are taken into consideration to calculate how much your earnings are likely to be with these guys and to give you an idea of the best ones. So we had selected the best rewards per fight, okay? And with all of my heroes, that actually ends up being the boss, which I was actually surprised about because I was always doing the mage because going off the sort of simple calculation of, you know, the number of fights you can do by the average earnings, you know, per fight um, multiplied by the success rate, it was showing that the mage was a little bit better than the boss, but this is showing uh, the opposite. So what I'm gonna do is go through boss fights on all of my heroes after this. Hopefully we can at least win one. Um, and uh, ultimately, that is what is going to help me gain the greatest amount of rewards, okay? And then if you're wanting to maximize your experience, it shows you that, okay? So this shows you how many fights you can do per day. This calculates the amount of US dollars you can earn based on fighting this enemy each day after the gas fees and everything are considered. Okay, and then this is the experience that you'll earn from each of those. So you'll see the boss is actually the worst for gaining experience, but it's the best for your earnings per day after all the fees. So that's why there's that difference. If you wanna get the greatest amount of experience, you go for the mage, because that gives you 1300 daily on average um, for this hero, right? Um, and that's why it has the mage here. But if you're wanting to go for the most amount of rewards you can get per day, it says attack the boss, okay? And you can see it goes through for each of the heroes, depending on which hero you have and their, their stats, some of these might differ, but I believe the mage and the boss are gonna be the two main ones that you would wanna fight for all the heroes right now, but it might differ, right? And these guys have been updating everything to keep it as up to date as possible with all the little tweaks and changes to the rewards and, and uh, things like that. So um, they are going to be updating things as often as possible to keep this fully updated for you guys and help you guys out. And so here is where I've got this, um, that 72% difference and all of that. So I took what you would earn here per day if you just fought the Red Skull one versus what you could earn fighting the boss every day, okay? 
So if you add this up, and that's what I did, I took the sum of this column, this one, this one, sorry, this cell, not the column, but took all of those earnings for all five of my heroes and added, it, added them up here, I could earn $81 per day with all five. But if I fight the boss, according to the math here, according to the numbers, that would jump all the way up to $140, right? So that is a $60 difference every single day. And if you divide 14007 by 81, uh, 8133, you get about 72% greater rewards from fighting the boss versus fighting that Red Skull 1. And to be honest, I feel like a lot of people just go for the Red Skull 1 because it has the highest probability that you're going to win the fight. But, you know, the probability that you're going to win is kind of redundant if it's not going to give you the best experience and it's not going to give you the best earnings, right? So there's really no reason to fight that Red Skull 1. Um, if you're wanting to maximize your rewards, it's going to be the boss every time, okay? And you might lose a bunch, right? You're going to have good streaks and bad streaks, but over the long run, the numbers favor fighting the boss, okay? And so here is the monthly difference. So I took these daily earnings, I multiplied them by 30. So this would net you still $2,400, $2,440 per month. That is solid. But when you compare it to the boss, $4,202, okay? That is a difference of nearly $1,800 every single month that you would just be throwing away by fighting the Red Skull 1 instead of fighting the boss. So that is insane. You can almost double your money just by switching up and taking, you know, taking a little bit more chance, right? Taking on the boss. Um, but I think that reward, you know, nearly double the rewards is definitely worth the risk in, uh, in my case at least. So we're gonna go through all the boss fights. We're gonna see what we can pull off right here right now i only have enough hp though to do one fight per hero right now so that could be a little tough right if i if i lose technically i could lose all five of these fights um, which will hurt my case for this video but hopefully we can at least win one and you guys can get an idea of how much you can earn for fighting the boss all right so we're gonna give it a shot here hope the luck is on my side you know someone smash the like button i think that helps us win fights on this so be sure to like the video here and hopefully we can pull off a dub and see how much we can earn from this current boss. And then once the level two boss is added in, you know, then there'll be additional calculations to add into it, but I'm hoping it'll be worth it to take on. All right, so we lost that one. All good. We're gonna win it with this one. This is the epic. I got a good feeling. We're winning this boss fight. Let's go. Let's go. Booyah! There we go. See, that is the potential. One little fight and 0 0.044. That is actually huge. Because when this one, when I was fighting the mage with this just earlier, she was only earning 0 0.012, right? So that is almost four times. So that is huge, huge earnings. We love to see that. Let's give it another go. Let's keep it going. Let's get a streak here. Why not? I'm glad we at least won one for the video, right? All right, let's win these next three. Three in a row here, let's go. Four in a row, who knows? All right, we lost that one. No big deal, no big deal. We do it again, we win this one. Boom, just like that, another .04. So right there, two losses, two wins, but that is .084 BMB that we just got in, what, a few seconds there, 0 0.084, wait, why am I on BMBH? I was like, how is that 30 cents? That doesn't make any sense. All right, here we go, 0 .084, $51 we just made in a matter of a couple minutes. That is nuts. All right, we're gonna keep this rolling. And tomorrow I'm gonna do all boss fights and I'm gonna see what we can earn from that. And I'll drop a comment down below in the video um, if they don't bring out the level two boss by then and we do another video. But I'll drop a comment down below here and uh, let you guys know what I end up earning from doing all boss fights. Okay, so that wasn't bad, right? We, we won two, we lost three, but that's still better earnings than I would have got if I won all five fights against the mage, right? To be honest, it's probably better earnings than I would've got if I won like 
all 10 fights against the mage, which wouldn't happen. Um, so I definitely think the boss fight is the play for getting the best rewards and this calculator kind of, kind of proves it. So if you guys want access to this, I am going to link the info down below. There is also an explainer video here that's linked in this that you guys can go check out on their YouTube channel. Okay. So it's right here. This is not financial advice as well do your own research so this kind of walks you through let me just mute this um this walks you through the whole thing and how to use it you know i kind of showed you exactly how to use it too so you could just re-watch this video but they do have their discord server there as well so if you want to click that um you know it'll open up the thing it'll invite you to the server it's saying invalid because i've already joined um and then you can get into their discord here They've got, you know, they're commenting and stuff in here and they let you know about the updates on the spreadsheet, what they're changing, what they're updating and all of these things, how to get access to the sheet. Um, so I think it's something that's definitely worth checking out, worthwhile to enter in your heroes here, helps you keep track of your investments and all of that. Um, but like this wasn't paid or anything like that. They just reached out to me and I was like, you know what, this is something that should help a lot of people. Um, because I feel like a lot of people just kind of jump into these games without really having an understanding of what they're really investing, how much they're investing, how much they're earning back when they're in profit, all of these things, right? Like it's, it's a lot of, um, math to kind of work out. And I feel like a lot of people just kind of, you know, hear from a friend that's like, Oh dude, I'm making a hundred dollars a day in this. You got to try it. And they just jump in and throw a bunch of money at this without understanding you know, what they're spending and why and how they're gonna get that back. So this is something that is really gonna help you guys with you know, keeping track of your investments, keeping track of how much money you can bring in, how, you know, when you're gonna break even, all of these things. So um, you know, that was the reason that I said, yeah, sure, like this sounds like something cool. I'm always down to help people out and I think this is gonna help. So if, you know, if it helps you out, check it out, try it out. And if you feel like donating to them, you know, why not, right? It's you know, what goes around comes around. If they help you out, help them out as well. Um, because they're not being paid to make this or anything. They're just, you know, other players just like you and I, and they're just doing this to uh, try to help you guys out. So um, that is going to be everything on BNB Heroes. I'm super pumped about the new boss to come. I'm pumped about these earnings here. Fantastic. And I'm looking forward to the continued sustainability and success of this. It is absolutely incredible what we've uh you know what we've already been able to get from this and the fact that the rewards pool just continues to grow um it's you know it's amazing so if we can keep this thing going for a long long time i will be super super happy and for any of you guys that got into this on you know the early videos as well i'm sure you're already turning profits from this and doing well so you know it's it's amazing to see you guys making money we're making money together it's an awesome thing all right now let's draw the winner of the fusemon nft all right let's see who is going to be the lucky winner of this thing we've got the video already entered here sorry my uh throat's a little dry it's like i've been talking a lot or something like that all right so we have all of the uh comments and everything entered in here from that Pegaxi video where we did the uh, giveaway. So let's see who's it going to be. Gox, all righty, let's go. What was it here? Another great coverage of the progress of the game. It was nice having a quick interaction with you in Discord last time. I really hope Corey can give you something juicy for your next Pegaxi vid. Also, nice that the mods are even promoting your videos as reference for newcomers. Hey, there we go. That is actually amazing to hear. Um, shout out to the mods over in Pegaxi. Um, and thank you so much for such a uh, kind message here. Gox, that's, a, you know, that's how easy it is here, folks. All you gotta do, like the video, subscribe, and you know, comment. And Gox is gonna be walking away with a free Fusemon NFT here. So that is amazing. We're gonna get in touch with him on Discord, get his wallet address, and get him hooked up with that. Now, if you guys are wanting me to do another free NFT giveaway, I'm feeling generous, right? And I'm always trying to get you guys, you know, I'm always trying to help 
get back to you guys, right? And support you guys for helping support me. Cause again, I wouldn't be able to do this without you. So if you guys are wanting another free NFT giveaway, we will have more Fusemon to give away coming up, but um, I'm gonna see if I can get some other things worked in here as well coming up soon too. We've got, uh, I'm gonna talk to the guys over at Shooter Pals. I'm gonna call them out right now on the, <laughs> on the video here and see if we could hook you guys up with another Shooter Pal. This is a game coming out that's gonna be a shooter, casual, competitive, super fun game that I think is going to be absolutely incredible. They have like a whole video here that you can check out of all the gameplay and stuff like that. Um, but it it's just gonna be a blast. Like you're jumping around, shooting people, having a great time. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can get in touch with them and see if I can hook you guys up with a free shooter pal in our next video. But if you want that, you have to like this video. You have to comment down below. We want a free NFT, okay? Leave that comment down below. And if we get, last time we did 50 likes and 50 comments, let's do 75, okay? If we can get 75 comments, 75 likes on this video, we'll do another NFT giveaway. We could do, heck, we might even do two, okay? But make sure you drop the comment, make sure you like the video, and we will see what the future brings. It's in your hands now. All right, so that is everything for BNB Heroes. I hope you guys check out the calculator here. I hope you guys are, you know, making a killing in BNB Heroes here, and we are going to keep you updated as, uh, as everything rolls out here and all the updates and new features come. So if you like this video, if it helped you out in any way, you know what to do. Make sure you smash that thumbs up button. Make sure you subscribe and you got those notifications turned on so you never miss these updates on the best new play to earn NFT games and new metaverse projects. And before we hop off here, I have to send a shout out of course, to all the new members of Six Pack Gaming, all the new subscribers on the channel. You guys are blowing this thing up and it is incredible. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Hemza, Herhiko, Hemza, Zavi, Zavi, uh, Young, Userl, uh, Marco, Felipe, Hamza, Gerard, Charisma, Sachin, Krypton, Feng Sri, Tristan, TJ, Philip, Musico, Bobby, Patrick, Kima, too far from you, gift. Uh, sorry, I, can't, I don't know how to pronounce that one. Rui, Mikael, Three Abja, Fake, Dave, David, uh, Ingok, uh, Tony, Jay Z, Q, Code, Jude, Hey, it's May, <laughs> Gianluca, Dreadful, My H, and Yaniv. Thank you guys so, so much. Welcome to Six Pack Gaming super super appreciative of all the love all the support it has been absolutely incredible so that is all from now as always until next time train hard game hard and we will see you in the next one peace out everyone